without wasting anyone's time, here's a no BS guide on the easiest ways I usually use to glow up. Since this guide is about the easiest ways to glow up, I'll be sharing with you the ways to glow using things that are most likely lying around in your home. This one is something I learned from my ex because she was really into the Korean skincare routine. She called it Korean glass skin using rice water toner. Basically, all you have to do is soak rice in water for 20 to 30 minutes, strain out that water, and then use that liquid as a toner. The best way to apply this is by soaking a cotton square or cotton round in it, and then slapping it onto a clean face and leaving it on for a while. You can also apply it with a cotton ball. This is going to help freshen up oily skin and make your pores feel tight. However, it actually needs to be on the skin longer for it to properly work. Another method is using turmeric. This is good if your skin type is dry or oily. Turmeric spice is really good for your skin, and chances are you probably already have this in your kitchen. Turmeric is full of antibacterial properties and is loaded with curcumin, which is good for fighting inflammation and getting rid of puffiness. Besides that, it also has a serious antioxidant game, which can make your skin glow from within. Turmeric doesn't just stop at fighting off free radicals. It also amps up collagen production, keeping your skin looking really supple and fresh. So bro, how do I use turmeric for my skin? Just grab some turmeric powder, about half a teaspoon, and mix it up with a cup of chickpea flour. If you don't have chickpea flour, regular flour works just fine, bro. Add in some milk or water, enough to make a smooth paste. Then drop in a few drops of rose water for that extra freshness. Slap this paste on your face and neck, let it chill until it dries up, then rinse it off with some cool water, and bam! You're going to be glowing like never before, bro. Next is honey. This method is good if your skin type is oily, acne prone, or a combination of both. And I'm pretty sure nearly everyone has a jar of honey at home. Honey is like nature's moisturizer. It keeps your skin hydrated and looking good. With its literal killer antibacterial powers, honey is like your personal face bodyguard, keeping infections and acne away. And not only does honey hydrate your skin by leaving it spotless, but honey is also packing some serious bleaching properties, fading pigmentations and scars like a pro. How do you use honey for your skin? You can just slap it on your face and neck the way it is. But make sure your skin's clean and a bit damp first. Then just massage it in for a few minutes and let your skin soak up all that goodness. Finally, rinse it off with some lukewarm water and boom! Your skin's going to be feeling fresh and hydrated, bro. Everyone knows that oranges are full of vitamin C and can help in detoxification. But did you know that just having a single glass full of orange juice daily helps to clean the complexion and rejuvenate? the skin in no time thanks to its vitamin c and citric acid content orange also helps to control acne and give firmness to the skin so how do you use orange juice for your skin make it a daily routine to start your mornings by squeezing some fresh oranges add a pinch of salt and a sprinkle of black pepper to your freshly squeezed juice and chug that down with your regular breakfast and if you're feeling extra fancy grab a few pieces of orange peel and grind them up with a few drops of rose water to make a smooth paste slap that goodness all all over your face and let it work its magic for 15 minutes. Then rinse off with cool water and you're ready to take on the day with skin that's glowing like the sun, bro. Number five is milk. This one actually surprised me when I heard of it, but I can guarantee that it works. Tyrosine helps produce melanin. This is the pigment responsible for hair and skin color, but too much tyrosine can darken your skin. This is where milk comes into play. Milk helps regulate tyrosine levels, giving your skin a radiant glow. And what's even better is that raw milk is super easy to get a hold of, making it a go-to ingredient for your skin, especially if your skin type is oily, acne prone, and dry. There are a ton of things you can use milk to do, especially when it comes to skincare, but that'll be for another video. How to use milk to clear your dry oily pimpled skin. You can apply raw milk to your skin or mix it with any other ingredient and form a paste. Slap it onto your face for a few minutes and then wash it off. Aloe vera. This one's good for all skin types. Bro, I used to wonder why the heck my sister had a bunch of aloe vera around the house. And frankly, if I knew what I did now, I would have stolen more of it. Aloe vera is like the MVP of skincare. It's packed with all the good stuff your skin craves, like vitamins and antioxidants. It's not just hype, bro. Aloe vera keeps your skin glowing and soft while also fighting off acne like a pro. And get this, if you've spent too much time in the sun, aloe vera's got your back. It'll speed up the healing process. That's not all. Regularly applying aloe vera keeps your skin hydrated, boosts elasticity, and even gets rid of wrinkles. 
how to use aloe vera for your skin. The good thing about aloe vera is that it isn't just for skincare. You can also make some juice right at home. Or if you're feeling fancy, add a scoop of aloe vera gel to your smoothies and drinks. You can also apply aloe vera gel directly onto your skin for some serious hydration and soothing action. Just scrape out the gel from the leaves, slap it onto your skin, and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Then rinse it off with cool water. Then there are also many other things like getting proper sleep, staying hydrated, and exercising regularly. But that's another video. If you want to watch it, check out my other videos.